the formidable robot. Have you ever stumbled upon one of these free game websites such as Crazy Games, Addicting Games, or Pokey? I have, and I'll have to admit, they're pretty dang fun. Playing all the games you want without the need for you to pay for them, and discovering old gems of Flash created content all the while. However, I do remember stumbling across one certain website which was a bit weird to say the least. Game Animate. This specific name has been engraved into my head for quite a while. It's another one of those game websites, but it also hosted animations on there as well, both old and newer like. It had this futuristic-like style with its UI, making it seem like you were on some sort of space station's computer. Its logo was quite simple to say the least, as it had some simple text showing off its name, a little slogan, the best website for free online content, and a PNG of an Xbox controller at the back. Although I discovered it recently, the website was seemingly founded in 2016, with proof being shown through some of the more dated looking games on there that most online game websites have. However, I won't be talking about this website's looks for the entirety of this post, I'll be talking about its aforementioned free online content. This is the main course here. As the website's name says, it's both meant for online games and animation on the web, having both classics and newer things alike. Although it may look normal at first, taking a quick look at the content reveals that this website isn't as it seems, with the games and animations being heavily modified versions. I'll go into detail about the ones that are the most modified out of all the others along with the things I remember the most, the content with little modifications will receive a separate subsection listing the minor changes. The first modified piece of content I'll talk about is the racist Mario animation. Most of you probably know this damned animation from a while ago, involving our beloved plumber going on a brutal killing spree, with the humor coming from his disdain towards non-Nintendo characters and how horribly out of character it would be for him to do so. The version on GameAnimate.com was an entirely different story. Unlike the original animation, the intro was a blank black screen without any sound whatsoever. The animation seemingly started as normal with the characters racing. Before Mario begins his rampage however, they would suddenly vanish into thin air without a trace of them left. The only one who didn't vanish is Mario, who seems to be solemn and sad instead of being constantly pissed off. After a moment of silence, he would begin talking. What's the purpose anymore? What's worth living in a world that used to be so full of life? Everyone used to be here, but they're gone now. I wish I could just experience that moment one more time. One more time to race. One more time for it to descend into chaos. I miss it. I miss everyone. It's just not the same anymore without them. I hated them, sure, but that's why I existed, no. I was characterized for the sole purpose of amusement, brutal amusement. I enjoyed giving joy and laughter in the darkest way possible. I enjoyed it all. But now, how can I continue when all that's left? It's nothing, nothing at all. After this small speech, he would come across an item box, breaking it open and getting a revolver. I really hate to do this to myself, I really do. But it's the only choice I have, since all that purpose was stripped away. Mario would put the gun to the side of his head, close his eyes, and slowly pull the trigger. The gun would then fire, blowing off a good chunk of his head and killing him, causing the car to stop in place since he isn't able to drive it anymore. The animation stood on the dead Mario and his car forever. This was certainly the more bleaker out of all the changed animations I've seen so far. Although I couldn't interpret the message that much, I could assume that this version of Mario needs the racers to keep himself going despite his hatred, but without them, he's reduced to a depressed husk without a purpose, stuck to not be able to move on and continue. Another modified piece of content I found on the website was, Madness Interactive, an old game based off of Madness Combat, a well-known animated web series most of you probably know. I found the animations interesting when I was younger, although I never found out that there were games based off of them at all. When I booted up the game, it seemed unchanged at first, thinking it was one of the more normal ones on the site. 
However, when I completed the first level, or seen as how the game calls it, the level appeared to have begun again. Thinking it was just a small error, I killed all the enemies with ease and went on to the next level, only for the first to repeat yet again. I realized that I was in a loop and I was presumably stuck. However, I was curious about this version, so I decided to complete the loop level a few more times. After seven attempts, I saw a giant word in the top left corner saying, Have. I didn't pay attention much to it until after I completed the level again, in which after every completion, the word changed into something different, trying to form a sentence. After the 27th loop, I seemed to no longer be stuck in the first level, as it changed into an area filled with light and there appeared to be no enemies at all. I could go to the right side and progress through another room of the area, unlike the original, which keeps you in one place. Have you ever thought you were in a loop? Going in circles, over and over again, until one day, things break? Then after that point, you feel free, like you can be yourself again. Without nobody or nothing to pull you back in, you can do what you were destined to do. Keep on going through, no matter the circumstances. At the final room, there was a door. I moved my character towards it in order to get through it, and the screen then suddenly cut to black. A few seconds later, it slowly faded into a piece of artwork with my character staring at the sky from a hill, with the word freedom above them. This one was surprisingly inspirational to me, as it was picturing a motivational message about breaking a cycle and being yourself without nothing to restrict you back into said cycle again. Extra information. This one isn't a game or animation, but I thought it was noteworthy. At the bottom, or in another spot, of almost every website, there are these extra links which detail information about the website, such as its about page, its creators, and other stuff like that. This website has that. However, these links were of no help, as they all redirected to a strange video with the website's logo in the center and strange trippy images as the background. There was some sort of song playing in the background, which was a low-quality recording of someone playing a guitar as they sing something in Arabic. Whether or not this was an intentional move for the creators to stay anonymous or some strange mistake on their part is not known. Anyways, I'll go into some more minor details. In the Pico's school game, there appeared to be no instances of text anywhere, seemingly having been removed. The animator versus animation video seemed to loop indefinitely when it ended. The ultimate showdown animation had its audio reversed, along with some scenes repeating themselves over and over again. Various games and animations have certain characters being a darker or lighter color than usual. When an animation or game is selected, sometimes its icon will move around the screen, disappear, or briefly swap itself with another game or animation. Overall, this game and animation website seems to be some sort of surreal art project cobbled up by someone who was bored, or it was probably made by a troll to trick gullible people into thinking that the things on this website are legit or unedited. I might think about going back on there one day, but for now, I suggest I'll leave this mystery to rest.